Hello everyone, my name is Brie and welcome to Documented Journey. So I haven't done a face-to-face -face in a while and I thought, let's do it. <laughs> if you are new here, thank you so much for subscribing and following along on this journey of mine. Um, today's video is going to be all about Hobonichi. Uh, I am really happy that I tried the A6 again. The last time I had a Hobonichi, it was 2016, I think, when they first came out with the Weeks. I bought a Weeks and an A6, and um, I I enjoyed them. We'll get into that, but uh, I'm just really excited that I tried the Hobonichi again. It really kind of got me out of my journaling funk. I was living in this thing, not this thing, my other journal. I was living in it, and I was just like wanting to write a ton and this really you know the whole point of me getting the Hobonichi was I was just going to write one page a day and I went with a6 because I like all the small things <laughs> um, so uh, you know going and writing just the page a day was really really nice I think when I stopped writing a page a day let's see when I started whiting out all the dates it was I turned right to it pretty much it was uh, June 12th. So since June 12th, I've been just writing just one page a day, giving some photos, some drawings. Um, and then June 12th, I gave myself some grace and I went ahead and started whiting out all the things. Um, and then since then, I've been uh, doing about a page and a half a day. So I'm not living in this thing anymore. I am so glad that I tried it again because I, I've fallen in love with this size for journaling. Um, I really enjoy the Hobonichi covers. Uh, this thing has gotten so chunky, it's really not even that chunky, but it's gotten so chunky that I can't fit it in any other cover but the Hobonichi cover. Isn't that funny? The next thing is, and this was the same reason that I quit the Hobonichi in 2016, was that I hate the dates and I hate the quotes. I feel like it is just wasted space. You have about three-fourths of an inch up top that li like lists out the date for you and then you have an, a, about an inch at the bottom and I want to utilize the whole page to journal. With that being said, I have decided to stick with the A6 size. I really enjoy it. I love it for journaling even after whiting out the pages, but I will not be purchasing a dated book from Hobonichi. I will not be purchasing that. Instead, I purchased the blank. Now I have two of these because I actually contacted Just Scribble and so I purchased this from her and I am really excited about this book. Now it is technically like the Avec version. Um, it doesn't have as many pages as the regular dated A6 Hobonichi, but I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Chunk and plus, this big old chunky one can only fit in this cover. I have a few other covers and I can't use them because of this. However, I am very, very happy with this one. I absolutely love this cover. So Just Scribble, she has her own channel here on YouTube. I'll list it in the description box. She also did a little review on this notebook, which I can also list for you. Um, but it's really cool because it's just the dot grid, as you see here. The whole page is dot grid. There is no quarter of an inch up here and a whole inch down here that you're losing writing space. However, I'm nervous because they launched the Hobonichi lineup for 2020. Um, I think it was Friday and I didn't see these. They had a regular um, A6 undated but they did not have these blank ones and I'm just getting a little nervous about that because I really like this. Now, if they do not have this when I go and purchase a new Hobonichi cover, which I am because I saw one I liked, um, then I'm not gonna be buying a, like a notebook from them, a journal. I am probably just going to be buying an Anami, which kind of makes me sad because uh, I really like the Hobonichi, and I liked the thinness of the uh, plain notebooks. I will be placing a Hobonichi order, so uh, the next video on Hobonichi will probably be me doing that show and tell for you. However, I am not going to be getting a week's because I didn't last in the week's. I, I, I couldn't finish that guy out. So um, 
I will be moving out of this cover. I have probably, I don't know, 30 to 50 pages left in here. And so I will be finishing this, this up and I will be um, shelving it, you know, setting it on the shelf because it's done. And I have a new cover that I'm moving into and I'm really excited for it. I actually tried to fit my Hobonichi in it and it won't fit. It's too chunky. It just like won't close properly. But I'm really excited about this because I think that it is a really fun, cool new design. And that is this Rogue by Sojourner. And so the Rogue, the cool thing about this is it's reversible. So I got Sand, which is a Nubuck leather, and it's the Velvety leather, which I absolutely love this, this line she has. I got Light Speck Brown. For the, for the front or I don't know, whatever. And then on the inside, this is what the inside of the leather looks like, which is like just a little bit more nappy than the outside, or you know, do you get what I'm saying? Than this side. Um, and then I got the dark brown, and I just thought it was really cool because I could have it this way, or I could have it this way. Um, so if I put this small book in, it fits really nicely. I'll put it in here for you so you can see. It fits absolutely perfectly, nice and snug. And then I also got an elastic closure. And I just thought it was really kind of classic and cool because I could have two covers in one. And I'm really excited for this. Also, a pen fits just fine. I don't use tabs on my, uh, on my written journal, but a pen can... It's hooked onto the thing. Hang on. Okay. A pin can fit pretty nicely right here. Or um, if I wanted to, I could just hook it right here. I mean, I'm not really picky. I actually um, have like a pin pouch that I pull from because I've been using different inks. So that's kind of fun. But this is going to be my next journal once I move out of this beast. I call this a beast. We all know this isn't a beast, but you get what I'm saying. So I really am hoping that Hobonichi uh, continues to sell these blank notebooks, but if they don't, I'll probably, like I said, stick with the Nanami. I'm not sure how the Nanami will fit in here. Um, it might fit at the beginning, but then as it bulks up, maybe it'll have to just be moved into the Hobonichi cover. I am excited for the Hobonichi release, and I will be getting a cover. I've already picked one out. <laughs> but yeah, that is my take on how I've uh, been going with the Hobonichi. I am curious, are you guys uh, at all interested in Hobonichi? Do you use the Weeks, the A6, or the A5? Do you like their covers? Um, what do you use them for? I'd like to chat all about Hobonichi in the comments below. So until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.